Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. Welcome to part five of my seven part series telling you my top seven simplest ways to get healthy now. Last time we learned how to get the perfect sleep and in this video I'm going to tell you about the most important nutrient you need to get more of, omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are called essential fatty acids because our bodies need them but we can't make them ourselves so we need to get them from our food. Omega-3s are powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidant compounds that are used to treat many inflammatory chronic diseases including atopic dermatitis or eczema which is a very severe form of dry skin. Omega-3s also have powerful anti-aging effects and can reduce the risk of heart disease. Omega-3s also play a role in regulating mood and are now being used in the treatment of mild depression as well as ADHD which has concentration problems involved to improve people's concentration and mood. Most of the time any one thing claiming to be useful for all of these different conditions I'm really skeptical of. However, in the case of omega-3s it's actually true and it can be backed up by numerous large research studies for each of the indications that I've mentioned. The typical North American diet has far too many omega-6 fatty acids and too little omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are the ones that we have that have all the anti-cancer, antioxidant and all the other health benefits such as improving mood and concentration. Omega-6 fatty acids, on the other hand, are actually inflammatory if we have too much of them, leading to all the problems that omega-3s can help prevent, like the premature aging, heart disease, low mood, and ca some cancers. Omega-6 fatty acids, like the not-so-good kind, are found in highest amounts in vegetable oils, soybean oil, margarine, pre-made salad dressings and sauces, and mayonnaise. We have too many of omega-6 in our diet in the Western world. Omega-3s can be found in certain nuts like walnuts and walnut oil, flax seeds, and wild salmon. Unless you eat cold water fish daily, I recommend taking a good quality omega-3 supplement from cold water fish or if you're a strict vegetarian you can take it from flax to ensure that you're getting enough to see the maximum health benefits. So what dose of omega-3 fatty acids should you take? Well. It depends what you're using it for. There's two different parts to the omega-3 fatty acid molecule and you want to make sure the supplement you choose has both of them in the right amount for what you're using it for. These two parts of the, the molecule have really hard to pronounce names but they're known for short as EPA and DHA and that's how you'll see them on the bottle. You'll want to aim for two to three grams of EPA and DHA together per day in the supplement you choose which you can find at most health food stores but for example if you want to use it more for your concentration you want more of the DHA. However if you want to use it more for the anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory effects and for the mood effects you want more of the EPA. So for mood and anti-cancer effects you would want a 3 to 1 ratio of the EPA uh, to the DHA which is not the natural um, ratio in the fish but they make it like that in the supplement. Do you have problems with your mood? Have you tried omega-3 supplements before and what were your experiences? Leave me a comment and let me know. Part 6 of this series is about smiling and how it can improve your health. So leave a comment and I'll see you back in the next video.